So here we are, we're gonna look at how the putts break this time first. So not every putt just goes in a straight line. That would make this really easy. It's not that, that simple though, it's a little more complicated. Let's take a look at this green and we'll start navigating this whole problem that we have here. So you've got the top edge of the green up there where there's a big mound and then down here it's much lower. So between those two spots, that's where I would envision this ball always trying to make its way down to this low point here. Just taking a look at the green as a whole as you walk up to it is a really good start. Now let's go up here and take a look at this putt that you've got here, Kenzie. So I know you're trying to make this in two strokes. Step one is find the right place to try to play the putt. Yes. Uh, do you have any kind of formula that you use beyond just that really simple method of uh, trying to find where, where you're going to actually try to estimate this break? Yeah, um, getting down to a lower reference point yeah, yeah. Um, or getting behind the hole and always looking up at the ball is gotcha. sometimes something I do depending on the actual putt itself. Yeah, so you can see who's uh, bending down to get a little closer look at the ground. That helps you see the contour a little better. I'd still use that basic rule to get started though. There's the high point, there's the low one. So that's where the putt's gonna try to go, way down there to the front of the green. With that in mind, I think somewhere around here would be a good starting point for Kenzie to actually try to hit the putt and you'll see how much it breaks. Does that look about right in there, Kenzie? Yeah. Somewhere close to that? Okay. So try to get this one close so you can make the next one. Nice, you can see how that started pretty close to where I had the putter and it broke ever so slightly down the hill and pretty good. She hit it just a little bit past. Now the same rules apply on this next one. We keep the flag in. Uh, again though, this putt's gonna try to break down to that part of the green. So even this one, she can't play it right in the middle or aim right at the flag. It won't work that way. She's gotta aim a little bit towards this right edge. Knock that one in. Nicely done. And we can go on to the next hole. So this is a major skill to learn to putt well. If you don't know how to read a green real well, you can be here all day. Now we'll cover the next two parts of it as well. And that is the starting direction and how hard to hit these putts in the next couple videos.